So a friend of mine and me were recently talking about the state of the mainline Pokemon games and whether or not they should shift back to 2D graphics. Now, I get that that's a really weird thing to say, especially considering the fact that 15 years ago, had you asked me if Pokemon should go into 3D or stay in 2D, I would have been all about 3D. I really wanted it to move forward. Obviously, you know, it's been 2D since the very beginning. 3D was just naturally the way to go. But looking back at it, I really think there was like a big misstep with this transition to 3D. When I say misstep, obviously I don't mean Pokemon can't work in 3D. In fact, one of the games that I wanted to applaud for going to 3D so well was Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2. I mean, this was the very first time that any of us got to see the Pokemon in 3D, like battling the way we actually envisioned it. And as a kid, I absolutely loved transferring my Pokemon in from my yellow version or from my silver version into Pokemon Stadium 1 or 2 and just battling with them. You know, it felt real. And the animations of those Pokemon just it really like gave that impact versus the little 2D sprites just jiggling around. And I feel like for the current mainline 3D games, they kind of translated that soulless battle animation from the original 2D games into the 3D games. You know, back then you, you, you couldn't really animate Pokemon battling that well besides just like a couple of different sprites here and there and a small little animation. If you look at a current mainline Pokemon game when they attack each other most of the time they just kind of move in place or they do like a silly little animation that is supposed to convey them attacking but sometimes it doesn't really match the attack that they're doing. I recently played Pokemon Stadium 1 on NSO and I'm just taken aback at how well it still lives up. You know, the animations still look really good. You know, the graphics, yeah, they're a little wonky. Even the even the models of the Pokemon are a little hard to look at sometimes, but the animations, they're they're so good and the mainline Pokemon games are missing this. They really need something to bring life back into these characters. I feel like for me, the issues really started to show themselves in Sword and Shield. You know, when the games first went in 3D for X and Y, it actually looked really cool. And I figured, okay, you know, this is the first step that they're taking mainline Pokemon games into 3D. They had 3D models for every single Pokemon. Like that alone was pretty impressive. There were like, 600 and something at that point and I thought it would only get better from there but then Sun and Moon came out you know the models were exactly the same animations were pretty much the same maybe a couple of tweaks here and there and I said okay surely once the games go on switch it's gonna get even better Sword and Shield comes out, they make the announcement that, hey, you know, not all Pokemon in the national decks are going to be in this game, so there's only about 400 Pokemon in here, and one of the reasons that they mentioned was that they're working on new animations. I'm not going to get, I'm, I'm not going to dive into this whole topic, because that's a whole different tangent, we're not going there, but essentially, yeah, there wasn't really much of a change from the previous games, and if you jump to Sword and Shield, the only thing that I really noticed was, you know, they added textures to some of the Pokemon, which is cool. Uh, some Pokemon did get new models. Uh, I know Charizard for sure looks a little different. I'm sure there's a bunch more. But the game itself is being brought down by horrific performance issues. So I can't even like really enjoy the new graphical updates. Um, but going back to the animations themselves, there's still a lot to be desired. There's, they still just kind of like jiggle in place and, you know, an attack comes out. It's, it's not the same. And maybe, maybe they can't go back to what they did in Pokemon Stadium. Maybe it's literally just too much work for them to do it. And it's just not feasible for them to make these very expressive attack animations for every single Pokemon out there. You know, I, I feel like if they really set the the time to do it you know they probably would be able to i mean it's not like they have to redo the animations every single game 
if you make expressive attack animations for Pikachu, for example, you can probably get away with that for many years to come, and you can maybe tweak them going forward. Uh, I know you have a lot more Pokemon to work off of, but the fact that they're only bringing in like 400 or 500 Pokemon per new game at a time, I feel like you, you, they could probably do it in batches. Regardless, going back to the first point I made in this video, Pokemon should go back to 2D just because maybe then they could, you know, they could get away with being a little more simplified. When it's in 3D, when you have this open world and things just kind of, <laughs> when your character turns around or when a Pokemon turns around, they literally slide in place 360 degrees instead of like moving their legs to move, it feels very dated. You know, when it's in 2D, you can easily get away with that. And I really believe if they went down the route of having a Pokemon game in the HD 2D style, similar to Octopath Traveler, I feel like those games would be absolutely beautiful. And that style would go so well for Pokemon. You know, instead of, you know, I, I think back to uh, the Diamond and Pearl remakes, they tried to do this chibi style you know, akin to the original games, the style is very similar. It's the same top-down view. The gr it's, it's the same grid style, more or less. And I feel like if they opted to go in the HD 2D route, we might have gotten better uh, fan reception towards that. I think. I mean, I know a lot of people wanted a, a big jump forward with the remakes, and they they kind of didn't get that. I do think that HD 2D style would bode well for Pokemon, but am I actually just looking at this through rose-tinted goggles? Because I grew up playing these games on the original Game Boy, so a lot of nostalgia there is pushing me to feel this way. And I'm curious for anyone who didn't grow up with the original games, even, even anyone who's grown up with like uh, X and Y, you know, Gen 6 and onward, I'm sure you're aware of what the Pokemon games used to be like. You know, specifically Gen 5, so black and white. Those had the best 2D sprites. I feel like the games looked really, really nice in that style. I was thinking of it going back to something like that, except, you know, with more HD style. Again, Octopath Traveler. So let me know, are you on the same boat as me, or are you listening to this and thinking to yourself, Hell no, I don't want Pokemon to go back to 2D. I like Pokemon in 3D. I want it to continue being in 3D. I'm actually really curious about this because when I was speaking about this with my friend, we both grew up in the 90s, so naturally this was our like our childhood, so we want to see more games kind of call back to that. And a lot of different franchises are kind of doing that. You know, uh, it's a lot, even indie developers, they're kind of uh, trying to tap into that specific market by making games that look like they're from a specific era from like the 90s and such. I really, really feel like Pokemon would would bode well with this kind of change, but I'm, I'm in tune with reality, you know, I know this will never happen. Pokemon will never do this, but you know, I, I can always dream and I am just curious to hear what you guys have to say about it. This would also help the whole issue with the performance issues that Pokemon seems to be having. I don't anticipate the next mainline game to be running better than Scarlet and Violet. I, I feel like it might run at best about the same. And uh, if they do somehow improve performance for the next game, there's going to be a lot of sacrifice, I think, in that sense. I'm not sure what, but there's going to be some kind of sacrifice. Maybe the map is going to be a lot smaller. Maybe there's going to be even less Pokemon in this game. There's going to be something that would cut back on them being able to focus on performance. And I'm fine with that. You know, I think performance at the end of the day is more important. But, you know, if, if they're going to want to be so ambitious with a lot of the things that they do, um, but they're not able to execute because they don't have time or whatever, or maybe they're not really well versed in optimizing 3D games, just bring it back to 2D. They, they did 2D so well. I'm gonna, I, I might die in this hill, <laughs> you know, with 
not a lot of people supporting me, but this is truly how I feel, and uh, it would be really cool to see Pokemon go in this direction. So, again, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Um, I appreciate you watching this video all the way up until the end, and um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. See ya.